walking with the vision that the Lord you, are you into IT take that grace now in the name of Jesus a new season for you a new season for you a new season for you I connect you by the spirit to systems and structures by the power that raised Christ from the dead in the name of Jesus Christ Hallelujah. hear me listen I don't mean to brag but let me tell you this territorially speaking there are people called kingmakers. That's right. They don't become kings themselves, but they can enthrone kings and they can remove kings. Spiritually, there are people God has given grace. They are spiritual kingmakers, but they can take advantage of that grace and can enthrone people and shift destinies. Believe me, once you see the problem is once the grace of God is not administered within the boundary of scripture that is where it becomes error and it deceives people but the moment the grace of God is dispensed within the coordinates of scripture you cannot be in error when you are within the boundary of scripture hallelujah now the Lord is opening my eyes. I'm seeing um, you, you are in South Africa, but I'm not sure you are originally South Africans. It's like an Indian family. I don't know if there's if there's someone like that or a family. The Lord wants to bring a visitation. You are from India. If if there's someone like that, I just want to pray for you. India. This is what I'm seeing. Wherever they are, if you find them, let me just pray for them. This is what the Lord is ministering to me. One of them, you are wearing a nose mask that is this color. This color like, like blue. You are a young, slender, gentleman who is tall like that. This is what I'm seeing in my vision. Thank you for coming, sir. Thank you for coming, ma. Can I pray for you? I'm looking at you and the Lord is saying he's bringing an anointing on the entire family. And that he's going to, I don't know what it is that you do. But I want you to mark my words from today. There is such a marvelous grace. Take that grace. In the name of Jesus, take that grace. By the power that raised Christ from the dead. That anointing is coming upon you. And you will begin to step into realms of possibilities. In business, in family, I decree and declare. That grace rests upon you right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. I want to pray for the sick now. Oh dear. Bernice, Bernice, like B E R N I C E. Bernice, 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 you are at the back. You are wearing something like a brown, white and brown. Bernice, is there someone like that? Be are you coming from the back? Is she coming from the back? You believe in Jesus? Oh, it's your sister. Can I pray for you? Hold hands together. Lift it up. Father, turn this family around. Here at this conference, take that fire now. In the name of Jesus Christ, you will never be the same again. By the power of the Holy Spirit. Now, please hear me. We are going to do three things very, very quickly. Help this woman. I'm seeing oil coming on her head. This Indian woman. I'm just seeing an angel pouring oil on her head. And the Lord is saying, even in old age, you will do much for the kingdom. Hallelujah. 
now three things we're going to do very quickly how many of you came with your prayer requests now here's what I want you to do I want to pray for the sick now but whilst we are doing that to conserve time if, if it is possible let's have a few ushers already just go around so that you can just drop your prayer request let's collate it you, you already did that oh great beautiful you already did that excellent if there's anyone who is yet to submit yours just wave it and there will be someone ushers please let's help them if there's anyone maybe a few ushers or anyone if the ushers are busy any of the workers just help them so that we make this happen very quickly hallelujah grace for you who is this lady oh huh? okay the lady what's her name who knows her name my dear look at me where is your father I want to pray for you because the Lord is bringing a visitation to your family you believe that I stretch my hands right now over you and I decree and declare by the power of the Holy Spirit the Lord will bring a great visitation to your father and by extension the entire family may the grace to make this happen rest upon you right now in the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus Christ Will you believe what I'm going to tell you now? We are not, we are not marketing the flesh. I'm only responding to what God is doing. I'm seeing literally now. When we do this, this is not just some blind. Please listen, listen, listen. This is not just some blind marketing of the flesh. But I'm seeing five people that God is raising for the sake of their families. There is a dimension of strange financial empowerment. I'm going to pray for everyone, but these are five particular people. You will come and stand one day upon this altar. And you will say from that time where the prophetic word came, God just connected you to men. Lord, I don't know where the five people are. But I stretch my hands in the name of Jesus, who is the son of the living God. You don't have to come out, please. Wherever you are, don't worry. In the name of Jesus, who is the son of the living God. Right now, may that grace rest upon you. May that grace rest upon you. Help them, help them, help that lady. Please. In the name of Jesus, may that grace rest upon you. May that grace rest upon you. May that grace rest upon you. You can be valuable, but it takes the anointing to connect you to those who can recognize the value and even reward it. Are we together? Please sit down if you can for a while. I want to pray for the sick now. Once I'm done with you, please, you can return to your seat so that we just ease off this and do this very quickly. About to pray for the sick now once we collate the requests may I please request that once we have the prayer request please bring all of them just keep them here just come pour them here I'm about to pray for the sick I believe in the power of the Holy Spirit I believe in his grace to heal and to deliver I will tell you why I ask you to sit down please sit down if you can please sit down please sit down if you can now there are people here whose destinies have been tied down by delay. Just sit down. You don't have to stand up. I will tell you why I'm asking you to sit down. Please, ushers or people around, I'm going to pray and the grace for speed. Sit down, sit down. Don't stand. Please sit down. It's going to come on people. Some of them will begin to run physically. I want you to hold them. That's why I said sit down. I stretch my hands now in the name of Jesus the grace for speed upon your life and your destiny take that grace now don't bring them out just hold them take that grace right now from my left to my right everything that has slowed down the pace of your destiny that are not apakatosh kadibata prende ketes kadibata speed 10 years in one year by the spirit of God 10 years in one year Help them, hold them, 
10 years in one. Hold them, please. Hold them, please. Hold them, please. So that they don't injure themselves. That's why I said sit down. 10 years in one year. I prophetically speak to anyone here. Every embargo that will not let you move forward. I stand by prophecy. I push you. Go forward. 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 In the name of Jesus Christ. Go forward in ministry. Go forward in business. Go forward in career. Go forward in family. Are you a man of God? From where? Okay. Can I pray for you, sir? Because when I was praying for speed, the same vision I saw, please hold that lady, the same vision I saw that God was changing the shoes of a lady, that's what I'm seeing happening to you. I stretch my hands, sir. Oh, there is an oil and a grace that is coming on you. God will so shift you and shift the ministry. By the power that raised Christ from the dead, may that anointing come upon you right now. That the things that you could not do yesterday, grace comes upon you for today. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hear me. There are many of you, like Joseph, you have helped many people, but they have forgotten you. You were responsible for the building of many businesses. You were responsible for supporting people. Some of them, when they came into South Africa, they didn't know their left from their right. God used you to put their lives in place. The wine presser forgot Joseph and added two years to his captivity. But in the name that is above all names, I call upon my God who is also your God. Tonight, let the book of remembrance be open. Be open. Be open. Be open, be open, be open in the name of Jesus. Hear me. And the Bible says, and that night could not King Ahasuerus sleep. And he said, bring me the chronicles. And they found where Mordecai saved his life and was not rewarded. And he says, who is in the chamber there? And the evil man, Haman, was called. He said, what shall be done to this man? Thinking it was him, he gave the best suggestion. He said, do the same immediately to Mordecai. I want to pray for someone here. It may look like you have been forgotten. Can I tell you the truth? People don't just remember. They are made to remember. Most of you from this night, I, I stand by the God of heaven and I tell you, you will receive strange calls this night. People, numbers that have not attended to you for years. I fear God, I will not stand here and waste your time. You are intelligent and responsible people. I know what I'm seeing that is making me say what I'm saying. Let me repeat it again. There are many people this night, I am telling you as, as, as surely as the sun rises in the day and sets, I pray for you and I declare according to the vision of the Lord, those who have forgotten you, in the name of Jesus tonight, we place an anointing upon your life. Let there be remembrance for good. Let there be remembrance for good. Now listen. We want to pray for the sick. Just sit down there. I'm about to pray for you. Now listen carefully. No, no, no. You don't have to bring them out. Except if she's just dro dropping something. Don't worry. I'm going to pray for everyone. Mama. Don't worry. You sit. I'm going to pray for you now. Now, please hear me. Shortly, I'm going to ask you to stand. I'm asking you to sit because that's the only way to bring some order. 
now we'll do this very very fast the prayer requests remember when they are ready please you can bring them here and just place them before the Lord I want to pray for the sick I believe in miracles now when I pray for the sick very quickly I'm going to request that you do what you could not do before and the moment you find out that the power of God has touched you please if possible if I can have maybe one or two pastors just somewhere here so that they can confirm you and then we'll take a few yes any of you at all we can take a few miracles some of you already from what has happened you are seeing that there are already miracles I want to pray for you listen to me Acts chapter 10 and verse 38 Peter was preaching in the house of Cornelius and this is what he had to say how God anointed Jesus of Nazareth with the Holy Ghost and with power he went about doing good and healing not they that were sick they that were oppressed for God was with him I'm about to pray for you and I want you to believe you came with someone sick I want you to believe whether you are inside or outside Jesus is wherever you are some of you are standing in for loved ones who are not here wherever you are I want to pray for you right now please stand on your feet if you can now the moment I pray those under the anointing you don't have to bring them out just guide them I want to pray for you believe in the power of the Holy Spirit we are standing to respect that anointing believe in impossible miracles right now I have seen God walk wonders and miracles in the lives of people and tonight it is my joy again as we celebrate the mighty and the marvelous hands of God now someone is going to shout loud under the anointing listen the moment that happens the healing power of Jesus will begin to move I'm only asking you to stand in faith with me and to agree as I pray That's not the shout. The shout you are hearing. That's a shout there. Now let's pray. In the name of Jesus Christ. Come on South Africa. You can say amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Hmm. My God. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. My God. The power of God is moving here. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Right now I decree and I declare. By the power that raised Christ from the dead. Every spirit that is back of any disease and infirmity. Hear the word of the Lord. I command you let their destinies go now. Release their destinies now. Release their destinies now. Now I decree and declare, help them. Be healed in the name of Jesus. Be healed in the name of Jesus. From the crown of your head, even to the soles of your feet. Oh, that fire is coming on you now. Be healed in the name of Jesus Christ. Be healed in the name of Jesus Christ. Blood conditions. Be healed in the name of Jesus Christ. Blood conditions. Be healed right now in Jesus name. Amen. HIV. Be healed right now in the name of Jesus. Amen. Every bone condition. Inability to walk. Inability to stand. Using an aid. I command be healed now. Amen. every kind of blindness partial blindness complete blindness I command those eyes to open now in the name of Jesus the Christ of God 
deaf ears be open now in the name of Jesus I'm seeing a lady you have I don't know a growth around your breast area I command that devil to go now every growth around your body hear the word of the Lord I command that it dissolves and goes now peptic ulcer be healed right now in the name of Jesus asthma be healed right now in the name of Jesus severe heat around the body just your body whether it's cold or hot there's, there's that hotness around the body the power of God is touching you right now there's someone you couldn't lift your hand I don't know what pain you came here with but right now as, as I'm praying the power of God is touching you I'm seeing someone I don't know what the condition is now but you are not able to turn with your neck you feel severe like a sprain right now in the name of Jesus the power of God is touching you be healed in the name of Jesus there's someone having had a heart condition I don't know what the condition is but is you have a problem with your heart we correct it right now by the power of the Holy Spirit pile very painful condition of pile right now as I pray for you the power of God is touching you right now where you are be healed right now someone just at your back here the lumbar area I'm seeing that you've had severe pain it's almost as if you cannot stand and stretch I declare right now the power of God is touching you please believe it the power of God is touching you right now in the name of Jesus Christ your left leg for someone your left leg I don't know whether I, around your knee area I don't know what the problem is but the power of Jesus is touching you right now amen high blood pressure goes down right now goes down right now goes down right now hepatitis the Lord is healing hepatitis of all sorts in the name of Jesus be healed right now I don't know what problem you have with your throat um, it, it's been so for a very long time so it is not COVID but you have it's almost as though your throat is always dry you to treat it and it's not being healed and you feel almost as if there is an injury there I'm praying for you right now the power of God is touching you this moment and if there is any family member you know across South Africa who is suffering from COVID-19 of Jesus Christ may the power of God touch them wherever they are right now yeah. hallelujah now whether I mention your case or not in there's someone is it appendicitis you are already beginning to feel very severe symptoms of it but the power of God is touching you wherever you are right now in fact the Lord is opening my eyes and I'm seeing someone right now in the hospital this is a kidney problem I don't know if it's your father or someone a kidney problem this is this is a situation that humanly speaking except maybe a kidney replacement or something of that sort otherwise based on the current kidneys almost damaged but in the name of Jesus Christ we speak life to the body of father wherever he is Be healed right now in the name of Jesus now hear me a miracle has happened right now I want you to check yourself very quickly do what you could not do don't be afraid do what you could not do the moment you find out that the power of God has touched you for those outside if they are coming in for a miracle then please just allow them just come um, who are they meeting this gentleman okay 
this is what will happen. The moment you find out that the power of God has touched you, very quickly, wherever you are, be bold, and I want you to run and come here. Some of you, even while the service was going on, as you were falling under the anointing, there was a miracle. Are you celebrating miracles here? My goodness. My goodness. God is healing people. Come. Check yourself. Make your way to the front. Check yourself. Confirm that miracle. Creator of the universe, what can you do? What can you do, Jesus? You couldn't lift your hands. Look at this. Look at this. He couldn't lift his hands. You're the name above every other name. What can you change? What can you change? Jesus. Hallelujah. Now, we have to be orderly. Maybe we'll do two rows. One here and maybe someone else there. Just arrange them like you see this man. Whoever is coordinating them, help that man under the anointing. Are, are, are we together, gentlemen? Hold on, please. Help me coordinate these people here so that we, we do, just do it like this. Let's have two rows. Do you understand what I'm saying? You may have to shift them from the back. So you can just join a queue there so we'll make it very fast. Yes, please. You had an accident this morning. The car rolled three times. You had an accident? Yes. Look at this. Really? Times. It rolled three times. And when I came here, I was in so much pain. And whilst you were preaching, I got healed. I couldn't do this. You could Oh my God, look at this. It rolled three times. Praise be to God Almighty. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. In the name of Jesus, you will not die. You will live. You have no covenant with death. The fullness of your days you will fulfill. And for this God that seems damaged, may my God restore a thousandfold. In the name of Jesus. Yes, please, very quickly. So she had a lump on her chest. Yes. On, on Go ahead. Let, let me hear her. Can you help us with the volume? Yes, please. Go ahead. I had What's a, your name? Tina. No, don't give them the mic. Just hold it for them. Yes. I had a lump on my left breast, men of God, to an extent. For how long? I think now it's for 15 years. But 15, 15 years? Yeah. Right now, what happened? When you, you, you said there is a lady that has a lump. This lump was painful in such a way that I could not even hold my child very tight. Or anyone trying to hug Because me. of the pain. Yeah, it, 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 it even caused a mark. In, 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 in my breast. In what my happened right now? I felt the heat as you were saying there is a lady and the lamp is not there. Anymore. It's gone. Yes. My goodness. Over 15 years. I stretch my hands. Place your hand there. This miracle remains permanent by the power of the Holy Spirit never to return to you again. Celebrate your miracle. God bless you. Yes, please. Man of God, this sister had a pain in the back. She had a pain in the back. In her back, which started after she had a dream. L let her speak. I had a dream. I was uh, reaching on my father's place. Then there was a voice which said, you, you mustn't come here. I'll send you to the graves. So from that it was 2017. What? 2017. Yeah. And you've had a pain. Yes, a pain. What couldn't you do? I could if I sit down. And for me, if I do like this. Okay, Ben, stand up. Ben, stand up. Any pain? Any pain? It's gone. In the name of Jesus, everything connected to ancestry and inheritance, it never returns to you by the power of the Holy Spirit. Yes, please, very quickly. Um, man of God, I was, for a month now, I was having severe back pain. I went to the doctor and they said they weren't seeing anything. Instead, they found a lump in my breast. Luckily, the lump wasn't cancerous, but the back pain was still continuing. I kept on going back and they said they didn't know what it was. Last week, they said my kidneys were swollen and they gave me antibiotics for the kidneys. Every time I was eating, anytime I would take a pill, anytime I would try and eat something, I would just vomit it out again. When I came today, I was having severe pain on my side and over okay. here. And after you prayed, I- Right now, yes, check sir. yourself. Take that grace over forever. In the name of Jesus. Yes, please. 
Apostle, you spoke about lower back pain, and I've been experiencing lower back pain as a result of my one foot being shorter than the other. But as you prayed, I felt the power of God, the Hold mobility. On. What happened to you? My one leg is shorter than the other. So from the age of 15. Oh, one leg is shorter than the other? Yes, by about an inch and a half. So it's actually put a lot of pressure on my knees oh. and my hip. So the mobility, even when I've gone to see a chiropractor, it's like my balance is kind of shifted off. But even tonight, I've just felt the mobility come back, even as Completely. I bend my knees. Look at this. Look at this. Run. 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 Hallelujah. My God, what a miracle. One leg shorter than the other. And so he would, he would feel that, that, that strain on his leg. But Jesus, he'll never return to you again in the name of Jesus. Yes, very quickly, we have to pray. A man of God, last year I, I had a dream. I saw a cat coming in my bed. It's been happening for a long time. Yes, and, and what happened? What, and, was, what, was the, what was the result? I of that? had a, a heart problem after it. And then, two months ago, I had a dream. Someone was rubbing something here in my back. And then, after that, I've been feeling something here heavy in my and back. And right now? And yes, even right now. But what now, happened to you? Uh, I don't know. It's just disappeared right just now. Just disappeared? Yes. In the name of Jesus Christ supernatural healing for you i like to hear this gentleman's testimony what happened to him this this my yes this my friend what happened to you i'm seeing um, there that there's a bandit yes go ahead apostle um, um my three brothers and i were um were part of an accident and by the grace of god we were saved from a car that was written off you had an accident yes oh about a week ago oh your two sons were with him yes is that true? Yes. Oh my God. We were actually, we were actually on our 21 days of fasting. And the day we were praying against the gods of South Africa. All the gods that day I remember I cursed all the strange altars in the land. And as soon as we finished the prayer, they drove out from here. And a drunkard left his lane, ran on them, head on collision three of them could have died that day if not God and there was no death no no death now what happened what happened to you my friend oh you broke your arm no, he broke his arm the other one broke his leg you broke your arm yes could you lift it before lift your hand now come on bring it down lift it again Hallelujah. Now, in the name of Jesus, I declare perfection for you. Complete perfection. Let me use this opportunity and let my voice with Apostle Felix and decree and declare. If there is anyone here and the spirit of death is roaming around your life or your family, by the God of heaven, we decree and declare. In the name of Jesus Christ, you have no covenant with death. You have no covenant with death. Amen. You are protected in the name of Jesus. Amen. Your family members are protected in the name of Jesus. Amen. Be protected in the air. Amen. Be protected on land. Amen. Be protected by sea. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Indeed, I speak to you that the rod of the wicked will not rest upon the lot of the righteous. Amen. In Jesus name I pray. Amen. God bless you. Yes, please. Very quickly. Uh, I was feeling piles. My father is also sick with piles. So when you are sitting close where there's a air con or it's oh, cold. The, the people, this is your son. He, he broke his leg. So he can't, he can't walk without. It's good that all three came out. Oh, they had the surgery last week. My God, major surgery. Can I pray for three of you? In the name of Jesus.
This is the one who seems to be most injured. And you couldn't walk without this. Ha ha has he gone through the surgery? Okay. In the name of Jesus, let there be complete recovery for all of you. Right now. Pain, I curse you by the God of heaven. Now, when we minister to people like this, you have to understand that we're not downplaying the place of medicine and what the doctors are doing. Are we together? We're not, we're not in antagonism. We're standing in partnership with them. So we're not violating the laws. He's gone through a surgery. And, and I, I just want you to understand. Because there is a way people minister healing that looks like they're fighting doctors. No, we're not. We're all in partnership to see that God's people experience wellness. Is that all right? I just needed to put that very, very straight so that you get that. But in the name of Jesus, for all three of you, gentlemen, may the Lord bring you speedy healing and perfection. The leg that went through this surgery, in Jesus' name, it will be perfected, perfected by the power of the Holy Spirit. Right now, in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. My God, there are so many testimonies. I understand there's a curfew. Let's see how we can take a few and then I'll just bless the remaining because we have to pray and I have to speak over your life. Very quickly. I, I was having piles. I feel a, a severe pain on my back. So sometimes when you are sitting close where it's cold or it's cold, it's June, July, I feel cold like I, I feel the very strong pain. But yes. now, completely, um, even when I feel I was supposed to feel it and I was sitting close to the pain there, I can't feel it. In the name of Jesus, it never returns to you by the power of the Holy Spirit. Yes, please. I have a problem with my bones. I had surgery when I was 18. You had a surgery? Yes, the doctors didn't know why, what was happening, even with my feet. If I move my bones, inside in movement, it's like a hammer against uh, cement or something. Or they crack or they crackle and I'm still very young. The doctors didn't know what was wrong. What happened to you now? But now I got like, a tingling in my, in my feet and I can move without any sounds and crackles. And Completely. It's gone. In the name of Jesus, it will never return to you again by the power of the Holy Spirit. Yes, please. Apostle, I was having a sore throat. In the, in the mornings, I used to, blood used to come out from my mouth like this. Blood? So, yeah, just from nowhere. But now, we, I don't have any pain. Completely. In the name of Jesus. Yes. Man of God, something moves on in my left, right from my left foot through my waist, into my head, and when the thing is moving, I can literally trace it with my finger. Something just moves, moves like that? Like that. How long body. has that been? For years, it has been like that. Okay. So when you said something at the left-hand side of this person, I felt heat that I could not explain, and the movement started ceasing. Immediately, I nearly fell, actually, but I was like, what's going on? Is it like, it's like current, electric current moving? In me immediately and now I'm free completely free from every manifestation of witchcraft in the name of Jesus my goodness okay yes uh, apostle let's just have let's just have okay yes go ahead yes uh, since last month uh, after coming back from work I had a sharp pain at my back a sharp pain yes and when I came even yesterday I was in a lot of pain and I was sitting there today. When you were praying, I just was holding my back. Now the pain and is gone. And completely, the pain is yes, gone. Yes, yes. Now, can I just have one, maybe one more here? I was having constant stomach pains for a while now. But and whenever I would press in, I would feel the pain. But now I cannot feel the completely. pain. I can press as many times. And completely. I'm not feeling anything. Now, very quickly, for the sake of time, I sincerely ha okay. Let's take us as a last. And yeah. then I'll just pray for everyone. Don't worry, you have, you can register in your testimony for tomorrow so that we can redeem the time and just quickly pray on the request and I speak over your life. Praise the Lord. Yes. Men of God, from beginning of this year, my, my knees started to crack and they were so painful. And when we were praying, I felt a warm sensation going down and the pain just went. Completely. I couldn't Check even Check yourself. Yes, I, I can do it now. Any pain? No, no pain. Completely. Completely. And, in the and, name of Jesus. And, and men of God, I had abdominal pains. And last week I went to see the doctor and he said I have fibroids. And as you were praying, I tried to, to push back and I, I could not feel that abdominal pain. Completely. Uh, completely, men of God. Completely. We command that fibroid to disappear from your body. 
never returns to you in Jesus name now for all of you who have been healed and those who could not make it out in the name of Jesus even as you have come we declare that your healings are permanent in the name of Jesus Christ the power of God that has touched you we decree that that same power will preserve you in Jesus name I pray amen and amen praise the Lord please stand on your feet if you can hallelujah now I believe let me share with you a scripture very quickly while praying second Kings chapter 19 please from verse 14 second Kings chapter 19 and okay thank you second Kings chapter 19 and verse 14 now please look up the Bible says and Hezekiah received the letter from the hand of the messengers and read it and Hezekiah went up into the house of the Lord and spread it before the Lord next verse and Hezekiah prayed before the Lord and said O Lord God of Israel which dwelleth between the cherubims thou art the God even thou alone of all the kingdoms of the earth and has made heaven and earth uh-huh Lord bow down thy ear and hear open Lord thy eyes and see and hear the words of Sennacherib which had sent him to reproach the living God of a truth Lord the kings of Assyria have destroyed the nations and their lands and have cast their gods into the fire for they were no gods but the works of men's hands wood and stone therefore they have destroyed them 19 now therefore O Lord our God I beseech thee save thou us out of his hand that all the kingdoms of the earth may know that thou art the Lord God even thou only next verse then Isaiah the son of Amos sent to Hezekiah saying thus saith the Lord God of Israel that which thou hast prayed unto me against Sennacherib king of Assyria I have heard that there are times in our lives where we can be so overwhelmed even if we have to prophesy we see in parts if we have to minister even if in a vigil there is only so much we can do I love to pray for requests like this because it's the most accurate representation of your desires you wrote it by yourself and many of them things you may not be able to share unto thee that answers prayer shall all flesh come here's what I want you to do I want you to just stretch your hands in one minute towards the altar and I'd like you to begin to pray that these Egyptians I see today I will see them no more forever is it alright if I call Apostle Felix who just joined me in this prayer God bless you sir we are going to pray and declare over these requests Halina parasu gata brande ge barako shikete blede ge baratasia zata parus gate bala stretch your hand south africa that sentence is averted by the spirit of god shana bakato zaprande ge de bala katos kate frente ge bali ita kata brande ga borisa shikete bele ge ti palados repakata brakata la barakatash Behold their threatenings and stretch your hands to heal that signs and wonders may be wrought in the name of your Holy Son. Declare that everything you have written here that has mocked the integrity of God over your life it falls like Dagon before the ark. Don't be tired. You are speaking to the God of heaven. You will return with more inspiring testimonies. Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, Father, behold their threatness. Behold their threatness. 
and therefore now Lord we decree and declare by the God of heaven in the name of Yeshua Jesus the son of the living God that every thing that represents the desires of your people right on this altar is now turned to a testimony Amen. in the name of Jesus Christ by the power that raised Jesus from the dead every affliction everyone in captivity everyone that has been held bound everyone seeking their body Lord let there be an immediate answer now in the name of Jesus we declare a turn around a turn around a turn around in the name of Jesus Lord we command speedy answers speedy answers speedy answers the word of the Lord came to the servant of God and he said by this time tomorrow a barrel of meal shall be sold for a shekel at the gates of Samaria father in the name of Jesus by the power that raised Jesus from the dead and in the name of Jesus Christ we declare in 24 hours the same way the fig tree dried up from the root in 24 hours in 24 hours in 24 hours in 24 hours we declare testimonies father you read the letter that Sennacherib spread on the altar father we are asking you oh God read everyone's heart desire now and the same way Isaiah declared to Sennacherib that God has heard your prayers we now speak prophetically like you said from the mouth of your servant to Hannah Lord that the God of Israel has heard your petition the God of Israel has heard your petition the God of Israel has heard your petition now receive your answers receive your answers receive your answers receive your testimony in the name of Jesus hallelujah I stand in faith again and I declare he said, Moses, why do you cry unto me? He said, tell the people that they go forward. Yes, sir. Therefore, I prophesy to every one of you. Every request here that has kept you backward and kept you stagnated. I decree and declare by the voice of prophecy. Yes, Lord. From tonight, go forward in the name of Jesus. Amen. 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 I declare over you that these Egyptians you see today, mm. may you see them no more forever. Amen. May you see them no more forever. In the name of Jesus. Hear me. Every human vessel that must partner with the Holy Ghost to bring answers to this prayer. Yes. We prophesy to the north, the south, the east and the west of South Africa. Wherever the men are, we gravitate them towards your destiny. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. You hear me? Anyone who says over their dead bodies, for these prayers to be answered, we command the earth to open and swallow them. Amen. Every altar that sponsors this pain, every altar that sponsors this discomfort, yes. every altar that sponsors yes. these tears, yes. by the power that raised Christ from the dead, we set them on fire. Amen. We set them on fire. We set them on fire. Yes. Hallelujah. Exodus chapter 3, 
and verse 21 and I will give these people favor in the sight of the Egyptians and it shall come to pass that as ye go ye shall not go empty I decree and declare everything responsible for emptiness in your life it comes under judgment now Amen Thank you Father in the mighty name of Jesus Christ Amen and Amen celebrate Jesus celebrate Jesus now listen hallelujah I decree and declare the anointing required for the next level of your kingdom assignment I stand in partnership with the angel over this house there are many of you who are the next revivalists in this nation oh yes many yes, of you yes. are the financial apostles political apostles at the count of three i must do this impartation wherever you are some of you have seen it in dreams that you will be the ones packing the stadiums for the kingdom take that fire now Amen. take that fire now Amen. in the name of jesus the move of god will not be without you take that fire in the name of jesus the grace to excel in ministry the grace to do ministry with integrity the grace to excel in business receive that grace the mantle for the marketplace receive that grace the mantle for politics and governance receive that grace in the name of jesus Hear me. I decree and declare over your life that as God is recruiting this end time army men and women who will be at the cutting edge of God's prophetic agenda yes, yes, oh yes. may he find you in this season Amen. in the name of Jesus Christ Amen. by reason of this prayer many of you will begin seasons of training with the Holy Ghost he will begin to walk with you he will begin to show you things every anointing that has been reserved for this end time over South Africa we stand by the privilege of priesthood we declare heaven release it to God's people in the name of Jesus Christ Apostolic mantles, yes. prophetic mantles, yes. evangelistic mantles, yes. pastoral mantles, yes. entrepreneurial mantles, yes. governmental mantles. Yes. Take that grace Fire. in the name of Jesus Christ. Fire! Shaya, ya, 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 your ministries in the name of Jesus whatever has stagnated you so that you will not go forward by the power of prophecy we push you go forward go forward yes greater exploit amen for Jesus amen. greater exploit amen. for the kingdom amen. in the name of Jesus amen you hear me please do not miss tomorrow's service but let me speak Every altar over South Africa. Hear the word of the Lord. In the name of Jesus. Every planting. Ordinances of ancestry. Foundational orchestration. Destroying the destinies of men. We come by the rod of the higher priesthood. And in the name of Jesus. We set those altars on fire. We set those altars on fire. We set those altars on fire. Hallelujah. We speak to the two lift gates of South Africa. That everything that has closed you. We stand by the privilege of the apostolic and the prophetic. Let the gates of South Africa be open now. Amen. Be open now. Amen. Be open now. Amen. Open for greater development. Yeah, 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 yeah. Open for greater revival. Open for greater manifestation of God's power. Hallelujah. And we stand in partnership with the government 
and all who have continued to fight COVID they are doing their best medically but we stand with the tokens of the prophetic that's right we speak over the spiritual climate of South Africa hear ye the word of the Lord yes COVID-19 we call you by your name and we curse you by the God of heaven Amen. we call you by your name and we curse you by the God of heaven Amen. in the name of Jesus Christ Amen. we decree and declare everyone who has lost money everyone who has lost opportunity people have cried because of the the whole pandemic in the name of Jesus may the restorer restore you a thousandfold Amen. hear me every spirit that sponsors crime every spirit that sponsors corruption yes every spirit that sponsors moral decadence Amen. hear the word of the lord yes. we sound the shofar of revival over south africa oh, yes yes thy yes. kingdom come oh god Rata. thy kingdom come oh god Rata. from Rata. city to city Rata. from Rata. region Rata. to region Rata. let there be a wind of evangelism Rata. a Rata. wind of salvation yes. a wind of the prophetic in the name let of Jesus. arise Rata. let Rata. men of Rata. fire arise in the name of Jesus, my last session with you is tomorrow in the morning. And let me encourage you please, whatever sacrifice you will make for tomorrow, I will share with you the last key that controls the move of God. And there will be a final ignition upon your spirit man amen make that sacrifice amen. but as for tonight i assure you that you must return with a testimony amen the lord bless you the lord increase you in jesus name